Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're going to do a random run, of course. After that is Zazel Run, which was a lot of fun, but ended in kind of some fireworks and not in the good kind of Katy Perry way, more in the bad kind of Katy Perry way. Here's our seed as Maggie, M992PXWS. And it's my ideal, assuming we're not on a Curse of the XL, which we're not, Maggie Start. We get a curse room right off the bat. The pills might not be super amazing. Amnesia kind of sucks, and luck down sucks substantially worse because it's got a more permanence associated with it. But sad onion, sorry, dead onion is pretty okay by itself. To be fair, if it's dead, the odds are it's probably a little sad about it as well. You know, I'm not I'm not saying I'm not trying to defend myself. Say that I was in the right with my name of the item. I'm just saying there might be some coincidence there. Even if I had the name a little bit expressly wrong. So we learned a valuable lesson on our last run. The valuable lesson was uh, still continue to never take Dr. Fetus. Well, that's not totally fair. I think the, the valuable lesson that we learned was take Epic Fetus, or sorry, take Dr. Fetus sometimes. That's not a valuable lesson. I need a hard and fast rule that I can live my life by, not something that, you know, has to be evaluated on a case by case basis. That's far too difficult. We can put that behind us, though. I still consider that run, uh, it was a lot of fun, for one, and it was, uh, extremely powerful, as well, until the very end. Well, there is a Tinted Rock here, but unfortunately, we don't have the means of which to acquire it. That's okay, though. I really do feel like, what the, what? Where are we going? Where are we? The, the boss room's not behind that locked door, is it? Oh, there's an exit over here, my mistake. Um, well, two of my most hated rooms in a row. Um, Dead Onion right off the bat is actually like a really nice pickup. Jesus Christ. It does lower our range, which has put us in a difficult position on this room specifically, but the fact that it gives you spectral tears that are also uh, piercing is by far the best benefit. You know, it's this toxic aura. It's a misnomer. The toxic aura, relatively meaningless. The real draw of the item is the fact that it's, it's spectral tears that are also penetrative. That bomb will allow us to get that Tinted Rock. It's a little bit of a... I wouldn't say a lazy play, but a, a slightly suboptimal play to come back here and blow up this Tinted Rock and take a Spirit Heart if it gives us that right off the bat, but I'm going to do it anyway just because with Amnesia, I don't trust myself to, to come back afterwards. Plus, Dead Onion, by the way, also gives us like the coolest looking mouth in the game. Coolest looking mouth in the game, Maggie! I don't know, I was trying to be like Maggie's hype person there. Alright. This is good. Anytime we can use standard, like... Uh, piercing shots Ooh, logic in order to fight bosses. That's going to make our life easier. Thank you, Dead Onion, for that golden gift. Even though I did get hit. That's okay. The shot speed is killing me just a little bit. Please die. Please die. Please die. Okay, I'm trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. I still kind of hate gurglings, apparently. I thought I was over this. Please. Please, all stats up, or maybe even just a tears up or a range up. Ah, well, I mean, the luck up actually does compensate for the luck down that we had earlier. Not the best Gurglings fight, but we do still have a Spirit Heart of Protection, and even if we lose that Spirit Heart, all is not necessarily lost. So it's all good for now. And actually, I, I love the fact that we had this Blood Bank right off the bat. There was no way that we would have spawned uh, an Arcade, because we only had four cents. Which actually is a little bit of laziness on my part. It, it wasn't deliberate laziness, it was more just kind of like ignorance, I guess, but I, sh I should have looked at our money and been like, well, with one more penny, we, we could spawn an arcade, so let's shoot some poop right now to make this maybe happen. That would have been a good idea. Let's see if maybe we replace our spacebar item with something that is better. Well, no, but we do get five bombs out of it, which is actually probably a better outcome, all things considered. So I'm going to play this just a little bit. My ideal setup here is definitely to get to the point where we can actually buy something from the shop, and we're gonna be at 10 cents, so we got like maximum five more plays to actually make our dream a reality. Um, we might end up having to buy a spirit heart, it'll depend on what this gives us. This gave us a spirit heart, so we don't have to buy one. I'll admit though, we're kinda going by the skin of our teeth here. I should, I just heard a drill warming up. That might be a saw actually warming up on the roof here. A couple of episodes ago, or a few episodes ago, I was talking about, you know, potential rooftop noise. Get ready for it. We woke up at like 9.30 this morning to the loudest gosh dang rooftop noise I've ever heard in my entire life. Some kind of drilling or 
it, it basically it sounded like a pneumatic drill or something like a jackhammer on our apartment roof I don't know why I'm assuming that there's good reasons for that our landlord would not uh, specifically send workers up there just to annoy us oh little brimstone I like you uh, but you know bear in mind <laughs> there might be a little bit of background noise unfortunately it's not possible to edit it out you know when you when you soundproof a room I I don't know about you if you're like an audio engineer out there you might take issue with what I'm about to say but when I soundproof this room as much as I did I was like well we've got to make sure the walls are you know absorbing the sound instead of bouncing it off I didn't think about well what if somebody goes up on our roof with a jackhammer do we have protection for that I don't think there's anything we could have done to be honest with you um, yes I will try to trade a bomb for a key here I looked online and it seems like the average amount of time that it takes to do a roof repair on an apartment building is two or three days. So I'm feeling like pretty good about the fact that it should be over with quickly. I'm totally going to take this opportunity to earn a little bit more money here. Well, earn might be a strong word, but we are up to 31 cents now. Let's see what we get on our shop. I'm, I'm very happy with the way this floor has gone thus far. I think it makes sense to buy the map. And I think it makes sense to buy the Spirit Heart. Even though it's a little bit cost prohibitive and takes us below the point where we'll be able to for sure buy an item on the next floor. Just to guarantee, at least hopefully guarantee, that no matter what boss we fight, <clears throat> I think you know who I'm talking about, uh, we'll still be able to get a deal with the Devil, which is by far the most important thing uh, on this floor, is finally having a chance to leverage Maggie's uh, HP for a little bit of extra damage. We already have pretty good damage, largely as a result of uh, Little Brimstone and Dead Onion. Well, entirely as a result of Little Brimstone and Dead Onion. Uh, but it would be nice to get even more. Right now, Little Brimstone is, you know, pretty much carrying the, the world here. If we could just get some uh, higher... Uh, the range upgrade might be okay with uh, Dead Onion, but if we can get some higher damage as well, that would be excellent. So that we could actually feel better about using our Dead Onion tiers in addition. So, the mark is good. Missing page 2 is not that good, but I'll take it anyway. Uh, for the chance... I mean, it gives us an evil upgrade, which I think is entirely constituted by that black heart that we picked up. Mostly the reason I took it is because... Uh, curse of the Blind. Um, mostly the reason I took it is because I refuse to believe that Missing Page 2 is just... That... Not even bad, but useless. Like, I refuse to believe that it's just, like, a higher chance of double trouble boss rooms, and, um... I didn't coin that term, by the way. That's the that's the standard term for it. Um, a higher chance of double trouble boss rooms and... The black heart that you get. I, I refuse to believe that that's the only... Draw from it. If it's true, then, you know, I guess I'll, I'll pull myself out of denial, hopefully. But I find it hard to believe. It's got to be a little bit more useful than that. I just don't know how. So, I mean, we ended up not being able to open the golden chest here, but I'm not that salty about it. It's all right. We don't have any keys, so we don't need to worry about rushing. Well, especially since we don't have a D6 either. We don't need to worry about rushing to an item room or a shop or anything like that. I'm actually really, really pleased with the outcome that we have going on so far. That speed downgrade sucks, but we did pick up Roid Rage in our last boss fight, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we've only had one speed upgrade, but that's okay. I think the speed upgrade from Roid Rage is proportionally greater than the speed downgrade from a pill. Bomb for a key and a secret room. Okay, well, we can't do much with that right now, but the key pickup is nice. And it, it would actually be, I mean, this is Caves 1, so there's no greed here, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because it would be awesome to not have the temptation to spend money. I guess we could still accomplish the same thing just by not getting any keys, but any extra keys because this one's going for the item room but uh, if we could spawn an arcade on the next floor because then you know things like those secret rooms with batteries in them or just random batteries on the ground would actually be substantially more useful for me will we sacrifice a spirit heart to go into our curse room absolutely does evil up give us a greater chance of getting black hearts to fall in the future I don't think so maybe it gives us a better deal with the devil chance in which case it would be a decent item to take I, I can't imagine the worst thing here would be dead cat which is still great Ceremonial robes is fantastic. Actually, I guess the worst thing there could be like an active uh, space bar deal with the devil item that I just didn't care about, but... Okay. Oh my god, really? After taking it on the last run, 
and hating it. You're gonna give me Dr. Fetus again. Well, the good news is we do have Bob's Curse right off the bat. Man, Curse of the Blind, you've been you've been cruel to me lately. We, well, we've had our hand forced here. We're in a little bit more of a difficult position than we used to be. I, the bombs aren't doing that badly. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna... The, the problem is I have... Well, let's see what this is. Box. Trinket could be good. Mm, oh, God. Here comes the drill. Do, 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 do. Here comes the drill. I'm not gonna take missing poster because it's just not that worthwhile. I really can't. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a polite Canadian. I can't stress enough how apologetic I would like to be about this inevitable rooftop noise that we've been largely spared from thus far, but I actually, <laughs> for the most part, I think it's unavoidable. Um, anyway, the, the problem that we have going on here is that, oh, there's a tinted rock here. Uh, I have a little brimstone, so I constantly want to be firing, aka, you know, just charging here, but uh, I put myself at risk of terrible bomb interactions as a result of it. In any case, we're not going to have financial troubles anytime in the near future, that's for sure. The sun card, I'll save that as a full health. I think it's much more realistic that that's probably going to be the best usage of that card for me, considering, you know, I'm going to be blowing myself up like crazy. So I'm looking for high damage, I'm looking for homing tears, and I'm looking for things like, you know, quad shot or something like that. Those are the... Those are the gets for me that actually make this... A conceivable win to be honest with you maybe not even like conceivable win, just conceivably getting a little further the reason I was able to get so far despite having epic for dr. fetus last time is because I got dr. fetus late in the game like as late in the game as it was possible it was my second to last room as a deliberate kind of pick up before uh, before the mega Satan fight just as a joke really um, the other obvious item sometimes people get mad at me for suggesting the wrong items. You, you realize that my suggestion has no actual impact over whether or not that item actually shows up, right? Um, anyway, Pyromaniac would be awesome. There's Spoonbender again. This is excellent. So this is what we. This is pretty much what we had last time, except we have lower damage. Maybe it's time to stop worrying about uh, Little Brimstone. I'm sorry to say, Little Brimstone, you've been very good to us. It's not your fault here. Maybe it's time to stop worrying about Little Brimstone so much and start worrying about the uh, Prog Police. Anyway. Oh, what? Ah, oh, there's a neutral fly. That is absolutely my bad. I should have been able to get out of the way of that. Money equals power would be a huge pickup. Uh, key beggar exploding could be a huge pickup. I, I think dead onion is making it a little bit harder for me to actually land these shots. Uh, we'll take mom's purse and we'll leave. Because we're really just not getting very much distance on these shots unless I can, you know, do it, put my ass into it. You know what I mean? We gotta really, like, throw ourselves at it full force, momentum style here. That should be the end of this room. If you'll excuse them, they're uh, jackhammering the roof. It's a very important uh, industrial procedure. I feel bad, man, because this is the new era, right? Back in the day, it's the 80s or the 70s, nobody's working from home. You gotta do roof construction, you do roof, con or any kind of construction. You do it during the day when people are at their, you know, government mandated offices. And then, uh, nobody's the wiser. Everybody's like, whoa, I, I left and my house looked like shit and now the driveway is paved and I came home. Thanks, construction. Now, like, as someone who works from, I'm not, by the way, if you work in construction or any, like, job that makes noise during the day, I'm not mad at you. I understand that these, these are jobs that have to be done. And it's not like you're showing up here and being like, I really want to do this. It's more like, you know, someone's paying me to do this because they want it done. So, you know, don't shoot the messenger or don't shoot the jackhammerer, I guess. But now, as someone who is extremely domestically low maintenance, whenever somebody like w does the mows their lawn at like 11 a.m. and I can hear it, I'm like, "What the fuck? Go to work, you d jerk off!" Anyway, hopefully this just adds a little bit extra flavor to the video and makes it hilarious. I mean, it's oh, it's already a ridiculous video just based on the fact that we got Doctor Fetus by accident. So at least this is not like, if, if there's an enormous jackhammer noise at some point, it's not ruining, like, uh, this really quiet, like, min maxi type run where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try to make this work, but I've gotta be very subtle about it here. No, this is like, it's, 
it, it's out of control already. So this is just, uh, it's fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, why did I use one of my own bombs there? So I did take Krampus' head. Why take Krampus' head in this situation? Why not? I mean, I had Yamaheart. I could only really use that for blood banks. It seemed like uh, Krampus' head was probably a smarter pickup. Because once every six rooms, I won't have the chance to accidentally blow myself up with bombs. I think that's a pretty good reason, honestly, to be 100% honest with you. And we're actually, like, th this is the last fucking redemption for Dr. Fetus. We have poison bombs with homing bombs. Well, uh, homing tears, I guess, but it, it manifests itself as homing bombs. The synergies don't get too much better than this, unless we had high damage, uh, along with maybe even more status effects or something like that. I don't know. So if this ends up being shitty, well, I guess you know what else would work is like quad shot. If we could get quad shot, I would be over the moon. Uh, no! They, <laughs> the item room was right there! I said that it had quad shot in it, now it isn't gonna have quad shot. You broke the rules. At least we, you know, the good news is we're one-shotting pretty much every enemy. The bad news is a lot of those one-shots are coming back to bite me in the ass. We're actually like, when the, when the shots home, they get a little bit overpowered. Oh, lordy lordy, here it comes. Here it comes, apparently. Walk to your house on my lunch break. Here it comes. That was a deep cut, Modest Mouse reference. I'm not proud of myself for that. Not that I, you know, I'm proud of myself because it's, it's a good song, but I'm not... Ooh, that could be interesting and kill me. Um, I'm not proud of myself because it's a very, it's a deliberately obtuse reference. Is this going to explode into bombs? I guess I'm glad that it doesn't. I wish it did for absurdity's sake, but I'm glad it doesn't for like, you know, me having a chance at victory's sake. But there is still a chance that it's like, Cricket's body might be like a recessive gene, right? Like it doesn't necessarily manifest itself right off the bat, but if maybe we pick up Cricket's body in Fire Mind, we end up with like exploding fire bombs because it becomes like, uh, you know, the, the phenotype instead of just the genotype. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think we have to, sure, we'll take BFF to save, stave off a riot. Um, and we'll get rid of Krampus' head and we'll pick up Blue Candle because I think Blue Candle... I guess we might as well use this. Blue Candle puts us in a position where if I want to, I don't have to use the bombs. But I really, really... You know what? I don't, I'm not going back for that bomb. Or that money. Fuck it. Uh, but I really, really do not want to exclusively use Blue Candle just because it's slow. And if you miss, you know, it's real slow. Oh, this is what we woke up to, by the way. And again, I can't stress enough, if you work, if you work in the industry, I'm not mad at you. And I'm not even mad at my landlord, because I don't know, maybe there were like leaks or something, they gotta get it covered. I'm just mad at air. I'm mad that air is such a good, uh, I mean we could take that because we have mom's purse, but anyway. I'm mad that air is such a good conduit for, for vibration and sound. I mean, it, it's the same mechanism that allows me to actually do my job and, and show up here today and say hello to you. However, like air, could you just fuck off with your vibrations a little bit so that I could vibrate the air instead? Sure, I mean, counterfeit penny is a little bit better, I guess. Ooh, a little scary here. Nah, actually, this is gonna work out perfectly. That should do it. Meat is a pretty good upgrade for us. Come on, you gotta give me some actual deals. Actually, goat head is okay. We'll take this first, just in case it Fucks it up, and we had two speed upgrades. It seems on honestly almost a little dangerous, but sure, we'll head down to the next floor. Now, I know people are going to be annoyed that I'm saying this, but this is, again, a situation where I would absolutely love to be able to teleport out of the boss rush room. Not just because I'm addicted to it, but because there are some synergies, quad shot for example, that I would really love to see, but I really don't want to have to fight multiple bosses, well, you know, like almost all the bosses, in order to make it happen. We keep getting two of spades, which is nice, but, um, yeah, the, if we could actually get that, I'm not saying it's essential to our success, but it would help. Good, we, we did better than breaking even here. This is a run that, it, it might look like it's going okay right now. I don't really rate our chances of actually, ugh, winning the run very highly, though. Oh, I created you. I created you! Like, I think our, our chances of winning the run are, are quite bad, actually. 
But our chances of making it decently far are not terrible. Probably. For the most part, anyway. Okay, now you just back off. Money's not a problem. I'm assuming that we'll probably have greed in our shop. We do have, a, you know, a, a chance to donate, I guess. Why am I assuming that just, is everything okay up there? You just dropped like a 30 kilogram uh, dumbbell, dog. You shouldn't be working out on the roof, even though it's the winter time, you know. It's quite sunny up there. You're going to get burned. Starter deck. Starter deck is worth it. Plus, then we can hold on to our sun card and maybe be able to teleport, and that is exactly what just happened. So we should probably not donate so much. There we go. I'm going to take this key and get ready to leave. We're going to have to go relatively quickly here again. I'm, this is not me focusing on boss rush above all else. This is boss rush manifesting itself as an actual worthwhile opportunity that we still might not be able to take advantage of. If we play our cards right, we, sh ooh, we should be able to go to our item room at the same time. But it's going to be a little close. Oh, I, well, I was half right. We did fight greed on this floor, just not in that situation. Uh, we should go up because I want to get to the boss room first. We should pick up the money because we have counterfeit penny. Whatever. There's more money in that greed fight that I didn't pick up as well. Ooh, I somehow did not get hit there. That's a surprise. Come on, bombs. Like, I'm firing the bombs right at you. How are you teleporting away? It makes no GD sense. Please. Please. Thank you. Magnet. Uh, sure, I guess. This is not going to make bombs magnetized, or is it going to make bombs magnetized? I do care. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright, it's candle time. Fuck the money. Actually, we, we have no reason to go back for it, but we probably... You know, it's probably the right play, quote-unquote. Alright, let's try this out. I think we can get into boss rush without sacrificing anything, which is nice. Feels good to be back in my wheelhouse, I guess. Ooh, not a smart call. We don't have to be very uh, conservative about our bomb placement. Like, we're firing so quickly. Like, homing bombs with Dr. Fetus seems great. Yeah, we'll just throw a little, little brimstone action in there. But at the same time, we do have a deal with the devil, but we're going to get one anyway. This time, I'm definitely going chest. Oh, sadly, I think the best thing here is probably Gemini. Mom's eye is going to get me hurt. And then we'll Joker card. So that didn't work out the way I hoped that it would. That's okay, though. So we have one guppy item. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to max ourselves out, even though it might not seem like that crazy of an idea, or that good of an idea. Now we have permanent Polaroid invincibility, so I won't be able to hit myself like twice in a row. Uh, what I was going to say, homing bombs, like, are good with Dr. Fetus. At least that's my kind of rudimentary assessment after this much playtime. However, I do kind of miss being able to place my own bombs. It's likely that the ability for them to home is probably more useful than it's not useful. However, when the bomb, like, overshoots an enemy, or because of the momentum that it gets from homing, I'm just like, come on, dog. Work with me here. I, I can aim that shot. You should be able to aim that shot. Oh, lucky us. There's not much of an excuse to, to not blow up everything. Except laziness. But laziness, as I've gone on record as saying many times, I think laziness is a valid excuse for a lot of things that gets a, gets a shit rap. Stay out of the way. Good. Easy. We'll go back for that tarot card. I would be an idiot to just pass it up. Strength. We could use... We could actually use strength kind of effectively to take... Ah, but it doesn't work properly. I was thinking we could use it to take a deal with the devil that only had uh, red hearts. But we'd have to use it before going into the deal with the devil to trigger it to have red hearts. Otherwise, if we go in with all spirit hearts, it'll have all spirit hearts. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. This plus Dark Bomb would actually be excellent, but what plus Dark Bomb isn't excellent? Um, oh, there is a Tinted Rock over here. I don't know how the hell we're going to get to it. Never mind. I know exactly how the hell we're going to get to it. Nice! Probably better than getting a Spirit Heart at this point. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We actually will never see, but that's my hunch. My hunch, my hunch. My lovely lady hunch. Well, that takes on a different... Uh, Connotation altogether, don't it? 
Anyway, I, f I forgot what the hell I was even saying earlier. It doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things. Most of the stuff that comes out of my mouth is just straight bullshit. Oh, you know, I was talking about um, the strength card. Yeah, I don't think we can get a deal. I don't think we can cheese a deal with the devil with it, basically. That's okay, though. At least we're not fighting fucking Conquest. Although, actually, the ability to fly might be better than whatever Daddy Longlegs chooses to fuck me with. One of these days, the bombs are gonna home properly, and that'll be good. We do get a deal with the devil. We got a speed upgrade, followed by Razor Blade Book of Sin. Wow, that is just that is just heinous, isn't it? That doesn't do anything for us at all. Down to the next floor, and I gotta admit, I'll take the overlay off. That's my bad. What are we at here? 22 minutes? That's not that bad. Curse of the Blind on this floor is like the least meaningful Curse of the Blind. In a good way. Um, so I'm feeling like, that's what I was going to admit. I, I've got to admit that we're, I'm feeling pretty good about the way this run's going right now. It certainly could be going a lot worse, at least. So I think we want to get rid of Counterfeit Penny. We're taking Broken Onk just on the off chance that it actually works. The odds aren't great. But, uh, you know, I, I can't argue that having a better chance to respawn would probably be a good thing in this situation. But it is going better than I thought it would or even could go. Although I would still much rather just be in our old situation without Dr. Fetus, but it's it's working. I guess I'm grateful that the homing is so fast. Were it not for that, the homing would just be completely meaningless. Oh, uh, no red chest. That's okay. Mm, there is a tinted rock. I feel like a goddamn genius right now. It, of course it's infamy, because you always get infamy on, like, the wound, but... I can't believe that I have managed to get those tinted rocks. I mean, it's not that hard. I'm just surprised that I did it, you know? We might as well see what this is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got me. Uh, I'm not going to go into the curse room. Ooh. Gemini, be careful. I'm not going to go into the curse room because I, I can't afford to lose the spirit hearts. In my opinion. There is a chance that we could become Guppy in the process. Or just get an item. That was super lucky. Uh, but I, I think it's an unlikely chance. Come on. Hey, we got one. I think it's an unlikely chance and... Uh, it's a guarantee that we would lose Spirit Hearts. You know, we don't even need to be here, dog. You gotta realize that shit. I can leave whenever I want. Up, down, I can do this all night. We could also just bomb our way out of every single room that we come across, but I don't like that strategy, and it's not because I'm, like, above it or anything like that. I've used that strategy on... Ooh. Yeah, that was bad. I've used that strategy on many occasions, and usually I end up killing myself with it because I get super lazy. Oh, okay, we lived. Look, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna throw my bombs, and if you get hit, it's your own fault. It worked? Oh my god, we made it out. So two of hearts is actually completely meaningless for us. Unfortunately, this is a chain reaction if I've ever seen one. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's just Gemini's chewing everything up. This room always weirds me out because it's asymmetrical. That doesn't happen that often in Isaac. You always, you have to second guess yourself. You're like, is there an invisible one of those, like, guts dudes that's coming after me in a second here? There's not. You just think there is, and uh, with good reason. Oh, I'm whiffed on that one. Good. Oh, not so good. Still, okay, we're fine. All right, get that blue candle in there. Good stuff. We want to keep him from spawning as many enemies as is possible. I think we're going to get out of this just fine. Now we're in standard meta territory, you know? Just get to the chest and all can be forgiven. It is actually probably for the best for us to use our sun card... Uh, let's look at our map. You know what? There's no point in using our sun card. The boss fight is very clearly in, like, the bottom. We gotta loop all the way around. I will... I'll open these. And, to be honest with you, I think, um... Uh, I think Guppy's head makes a pretty good case for replacing, uh, Blue Candle. Blue Candle's been good for us, but I'll admit that I haven't been great about using it. Whereas the flies, it's just set it and forget it. And our damage is good enough that, uh... I think the flies from Guppy's head are going to be very meaningful. So, uh, we, we've gone through a lot of different spacebar items over the course of this run, and 
They've all been probably mishandled, but Guppy's head offers the least opportunity to fuck it up, I think. Am I just gonna have to let Gemini finish the job here because I can't hit anything? That was well worth it, and actually we do find ourselves... Yeah, it's probably better than strength. We find ourselves with a semi-realistic chance to become Guppy. Which is... I mean, it, it's still unlikely. It would have to be in a curse room on this floor, probably. Um, but it could happen. It could happen. And then we would have to rely less on our bombs, more on our flies. Although we'd need the flies to be spawned from bombs. But still, you get the idea. It would be better, probably. Easy enough fight. I'm starting to think they were pulling this one out. It's not fair, though, to say that, like, oh, well, if... If you can do it on this run, why couldn't you do it on the last run with all that damage? Because the only room we fought on the last run was Brimstone. Or, sorry, Mega Satan. No? I gotta go to the curse room still, though. Ah, it burned me a little bit. That's okay. Still decent HP. Um, yeah, it's possible that we would have been doing even better on the last run uh, if we'd gotten Dr. Fetus earlier, and then we still would have thrown a Mega Satan. Or, to put it a different way, that maybe is easier to understand because the language isn't completely fucked up and circular. Um, if we fight Mega Satan on this run, it's possible that we could totally die, so... It's not like we accidentally bunged anything up on the last run, necessarily. Uh, I think we get rid of Liberty Cap, keep Broken Ankh, and, uh, take the damage upgrade. Gotta try for the secret room. Alright, that'll do it. It's always nice when homing bombs just sort out the secret room for you little extra money that is just completely meaningless. There is a spirit heart back here, apparently. What? What? No. You were dead. <laughs> I'm still gonna kill you. I don't know. Maybe you got something else for me. Yeah, it gave me an extra key. That was, that was complete bullshit. Our boss room's gotta be down here. Yeah, easy uh, ticket to sort it out there. I'd rather not use Chariot on Isaac, I guess our other card two of spades well I'm not gonna have a problem with golden chest that's for sure I'd rather save chariot for like a double cage room or something I don't know like I don't know if Isaac's gonna be that difficult our burst damage and our homing shots means I don't have to like be in the line of fire very much at all and this is yeah it's actually going very very quickly so I think our chariot card is better served on maybe some rooms that are you know slightly more annoying oh we don't want to be there and, actually, now that we have homing shots, it actually is a little bit easier for me to get a little brimstone in on the action. It's taking a little longer to charge than I remember, but that's okay. I think we might be able to pull out a Dr. Fetus win here. Now, this does not mean that I think Dr. Fetus is a good item. Again, I, I would trade this all away just to have tears back. No left hand, thank god, okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Okay, we're gonna pick this up because it sucks, because we're gonna reroll it. Then we're going to reroll everything and then pick up these two awesome items. Because I don't want to lose those. Alright, what do we have now? We got Monstro's Lung? No, 2020 Chocolate Milk. And a lot of status effects and a, a fuck ton of familiars. Then we're going to take Holy Mantle. And then we're going to take the Soul. And then we're going to use this so we can see where we're going. Although it was probably kind of obvious. Uh, our damage kind of sucks, but we are fighting double cage, so I guess I can't be too surprised by that. You know, I can't judge a book by its cover yet. We also have Robo Baby 2.0. A lot of people like that item a decent amount. I think it's kind of like a worse version of Blue Baby's Only Friend, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. I guess we don't have starter deck anymore, huh? So I can't take two tarot cards with me, but that's still probably just fine. The fool. Yeah, no! No! Why couldn't you have given me the Yara rune just a little bit earlier? Oh, the soul deflecting those greed shots feels so good. Try it again, motherfucker, see what happens. So we're gonna try to use the Yara rune to double a golden chest if it shows up. I guess I'm going to use the D20, or not the D20, I guess I'm going to use the D4 again. This is part of getting back to my roots here, you know, is just embracing these zany runs. Telepills, not really that good, all things considered. We could double it, though. You know what's better than one telepills? Very slightly, two telepills. 
Check out our secret room, maybe a greed fight. No, just a lot of bombs. Uh, I am gonna miss this D4 run in particular. This one's pretty good. However, the show must go on. Okay, yeah, I like it. I think we got number one Death's Touch. Bob's Brain, Blue Baby's only friend. There's a lot to like here. Uh, this damage is out of control, actually. Hey, th this is making me feel a lot better about this whole D4 situation. Yeah, uh, this is incredible. Oh, we had Tough Love, too. All right, so we're definitely gonna fight the boss with this amount of, uh, or with this configuration. We also gained HP in the process, which just seems like overkill at this point. I think we have Infestation 2 as well. Oh, this is beautiful. Blue Baby never stood a chance there. In any case, that was a really fun run, and we won with Dr. Fetus, sort of. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time, won't I?